again and this is the big controversy that has been triggered by a member of parliament of the congress party leader coming in from karnataka who's made secessionist remarks dk suresh now coming out and taking to uh, twitter uh, formerly twitter now x taking to social media going on to talk about what hypocrisy really is but this is over a comment that he made yesterday right after the budget presentation by nirmala sitaraman where dk suresh came out and said that uh, the south has always been neglected in union budgets he was trying to make a north versus south comparison but he did cross the line there when he made a secessionist comment and said that maybe the southern states should be a separate nation massive controversy erupted over that it echoing in the parliament as well now dk suresh taking to social media to say that this is hypocrisy of the bjp the people of karnataka and in india are well aware of all the plans that you've hatched is what dk suresh says it is in fact the birthright of the bjp to own terms like secessionism and communalism taking a dig at the bjp there as they up the ante against the congress party specifically against dk suresh as a kannadiga and indian i condemn this grave injustice done to karnataka is what dk suresh then goes on to say he says i will continue to voice my opinion regardless absolutely no remorse there despite the kind of uh, furor that we have witnessed over his comment not just in karnataka but across the country union minister piyush goyal also spoke about it in the parliament today demanding dk suresh's apology and yet we have the congress member of parliament the senior leader of the karnataka unit of the congress party coming out and uh, justifying what he said taking a dig at his political rivals which is the bjp Gorse's legacy is uh, the taunts that uh, he's fired at the BJP now even as they up the ante against uh, DK Suresh We follow Nehru and Patel's legacy of uniting the nation and not dividing the nation is what DK Suresh has now come out and responded to the BJP's allegation that this shows the mindset of the grand old party where all they want to do is divide This is in context of the comment that he made yesterday after the presentation of the union budget while he was making a point of southern states being neglected by budgets periodically he came out and said that maybe the southern states need to be a separate nation because the union government does not really look into the needs of the southern states that comment that reeks of secessionism has now triggered a massive furor with even union ministers coming out and demanding an apology from the member of parliament of the grand old party all southern states all southern states have to raise their voices demanding a separate nation mane adhyaksh ji ye congress ki jo vibhajan kari soch hai jis prakar se shuru se itihas mein humne congress ka vyavhar unka kaam karne ki paddhati aur desh ko baatte ka kaam congress ne samay samay pe kiya aise vibhajan kari soch देश को तोड़ने वाली सोच मैं समझता हूं कांग्रेस के अध्यक्ष ने इस पर स्पष्टीकरण करना चाहिए क्या ये कांग्रेस पार्टी इस वक्तव्य के साथ अपने आप को जोड़ती है क्या कांग्रेस की सोच में देश की एकता और अखंडता या देश का संविधान कोई मायने रखता है कि नहीं Ritu my colleague now joining us getting us more perspective on this Ritu we've seen the kind of furor the comment uh, has triggered but DK Suresh now going on to justify what he said even uh, going on to say that there is nothing that will make him change his mind or change his opinion Well exactly you see as his uh, statement has triggered a major <coughs> row across the nation where he has gone on to demand a separate country altogether when we talk about the southern part of the country now you see what DK Suresh the Bengaluru rural MP has to say is that he will continue to voice a raise, raise his voice when it comes to Karnataka because Karnataka does contribute majorly when it comes to the revenue to the uh, when it comes to the taxes you know to the central government but what is it getting in return there's nothing that literally the Karnataka is getting when it is getting uh, in when cons when consider about out the funds that it deserves actually so with all that major controversy now erupting you see dk suresh says that he will continue to raise his voice and secondly he says he does believe completely about the integrity and the unity in the country but however needs to be seen because this is just going to escalate in the coming days then
Absolutely, because the BJP is not going to let this go. Union ministers have also come out uh, and slammed DK Suresh and the grand old party for the kind of comment that has come to the fore. Uh, Pallavi, my colleague, also joining us, uh, getting us perspective on this. Pallavi, DK Suresh uh, coming out and uh, justifying, accusing uh, the BJP of hypocrisy, trying to turn the tables on the BJP. DK Shiv Kumar, his brother, and uh, the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka also came out yesterday and tried uh, and give cover fire to uh, DK Suresh. But how is the Congress party looking at this now that we're seeing this become a big political fight even nationally? Well, in, to a certain extent, I would say it's very much a catch-22 situation, despite the fact that Mr. Malikarjun Kharge, as a leader of the House, plus the Congress president, has clarified to say that we believe that from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, our country is one, and therefore we don't make any difference. And therefore, there's no question of endorsing a comment which has been made by anyone, which could include anyone even from the Congress party. But I think DK Suresh's comments also captures a dilemma within a party, especially a southern-based party, which has always played on the politics of North versus South and in this case accusing the BJP of being a North Belt party which uh, you know misuses the funds and in this case are the allegations and it only cares about North India and looks down or step buttery treatment towards South. There is obviously a key political strategy behind uh, uh, Shiv Kumar's comment. Uh, DK Suresh's comment, uh, Poonam, because first Sorry of all, we are seeing that Pali, let's cut across to the parliament whether Union Parliamentary Affairs Minister is addressing on the same issue. Okay. एक सेपरेट देश के मांग उन्होंने किया है लेकिन मैं बोलना चाहता हूं मैं भी दक्षिण भारत से आता हूं जयशंकर जी भी इधर बैठे हैं दक्षिण भारत से आता है हम भारत के अखंडता में पूरा निष्ठा रखते हैं उसमें कोई सवाल नहीं है पूरा देश एक है ये तो हम मानते हैं और इसीलिए मैं मैं सोनिया गांधी जी से मैं मांग करता हूं वो माफी मांगना चाहिए और एक्शन लेना चाहिए और बार बार मैं आपको यही आग्रह करता हूं ये जो शपथ लिया है शपथ का उल्लंघन हुआ है इसके कारण शपथ का उल्लंघन है जो डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब भीमराव अंबेडकर रचित संविधान के के ऊपर हमने जो शपथ लेते हैं उस शपथ का अपमान किया है एक तरफ बाबा साहेब अंबेडकर का भी अपमान किया है तो इसीलिए मैं आपसे निवेदन करता हूँ एथिक्स कमिटी को भेजिए और दूसरी बात कांग्रेस को मैं पूछना चाहता हूं बालू जी आप क्यों उठ गए हैं मैं कांग्रेस के ऊपर आग्रह करना चाहता हूं उसके ऊपर एक्शन ले जाइए एक्शन लेना चाहिए आप अगर एक्शन नहीं लेते हैं देश ये मानते हैं आप भी देश टुकड़े टुकड़े करने में लगे हुए हैं ऐसे देश मानते हैं तो इसीलिए मैं सोनिया गांधी जी से मैं आग्रह पूर्वक मैं डिमांड रखता हूँ एक्शन लिया जाए और माफी मांगना चाहिए ये मेरा आग्रह है सर सभा पटल पर रखे जाने वाले पत्र आइटम नंबर टू से अर्जुन राम मेघवाल जी धन्यवाद अध्यक्ष महोदय मैं लोकसभा की संशोधित कार्य सूची के क्रम संख्या दो पर अंकित दस्तावेज जो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लॉ एंड जस्टिस से संबंधित है आपकी अनुमति से सदन के पटल पर रखता हूँ आइटम नंबर थ्री श्री श्रीपद यशो नायक Sir, uh, I rise to lay on the table of the house the paper mentioned as my name at serial number three of uh, in the today's revised list of business. Item number four, Sri Ajay Bhatt. Honorable Speaker, sir, with your kind permission, I rise to lay on the table of the house a copy in English and a Hindi. Each of the papers mentioned against my name at C. Massive uproar there in uh, the parliament, even as we saw union ministers one after another come out and demand action from uh, demand action against D K Suresh and an apology from the Congress leader, even as he comes out and justifies his comments, brazening it out completely. Let's listen in to Nirmala Sitaraman, the finance minister, uh, also who had uh, her opinion as to what action needs to be taken against D K Suresh. The leader of the opposition and his entire party has chosen to walk out on a matter which is on dividing this country by a member of their own party, sitting member in Lok Sabha, on an issue like this, where he claims, the leader of the opposition claims, one, oh, we've given lives one, one for day. the country leader. My concern is a major issue of separatist language by a member who is Lok Sabha, in Lok Sabha of that party. And instead of outright condemning it, 
and saying nothing can be before us when we talk about the integrity and sovereign unity of this country.